Hi friends, welcome to Exam Daily YouTube channel. So today in this video, I would like to share you about the latest notification which was released by JPSC. So before that, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and click the bell icon for daily updates. So JPSC is nothing but Jharkhand uh, Public Service Commission. So they have uh, issued a notification for combined civil services examination. That is, it is a competitive examination. If you are a person, you are passionate about this examination, you can attend this. And they have also inviting online applications for this examination. And this examination for the year 2021. So if you are eagerly waiting for that, you can take an update. And in this video, I will explain you in a detail amount. So here they have given the category wise vacancy details. So totally 252 vacancies are there. So comparing to previous years, it is a huge vacancies also. So you can uh, take it as an update and uh, based upon the categories and for the posting they have given so totally 252 vacancies are there and it is one of the biggest vacancies detail. So here they have given the pay scale level. So for each and every posting they have given the pay scale level so you can take this and for your convenience we have given this PDF link in the description box so that you can take an update. And uh, please check this uh, PDF. And before doing your application procedure, please read this uh, twice to thrice. And here they have given the eligibility criteria also. So the basic eligibility criteria for this is the education qualification is you must be a uh, degree graduate. You can do it in any discipline, and it should be from a recognized university or from higher secondary institution. So if you are having this eligibility, you can apply for this posting. And the age limit. So they have given the age limit and age criteria also. So here they have given that as on the date of 1-1-2021, you should be 21 years completion. So you minimum age of this is 21 years and the maximum is 35 years. So, so this is for you or that is unreserved category. And for BC and uh, female candidates and SST, some of the things are changing. So if you are belonging to that categories, you can check through it. So they have given the number of attempts. So there shall be no limitation on number of attempts. So there is no limitation. So you can check through it. So here they have given the application procedure step by step. So please follow this. And uh, if you are doing your application procedure correctly, then only they will be selecting you and then only they will be shortlisting you. So please do your application procedure very correctly. So try to avoid mistakes while doing uh, these uh, application procedure. So that's it about this. They have given a lot of information regarding this. So the, here they have given the PWD candidates nature of disability and the percentage of disability also. So you can check through it. So next is about the selection procedure. So the examination will be of two successive stages. One is of preliminary and the other is of uh, main examination. So the preliminary examination will be of objective type and the main examination will be of written and interview. So you have to attend of this. And uh, based on the merit list only, they will be selecting you. So here they have given the preliminary examination paper, the details and the syllabus also. Please check through these things. And uh, start to study for your examination from now itself. And here they have given the details about main examination and interview also. You can check through it. So here they have given the minimum qualifying marks and cutoff for each and every category. So for each and every category, this is changing. So please update about this. So here they have given the syllabus and the scheme and the pattern also. So please be aware of that and please start to study and uh, do your preparation based upon this uh, syllabus and pattern. So it will be more useful for you, right? So that's it about this and the uh, important dates for this is the date of the issue of notification. So the notification has been issued on 8th February 2021 and the online application will be starting from 15th February 2021. So only a few days are there. So once the link is activated, we will also update you. So please follow our YouTube channel. And uh, the online application closing date is 15th March. So solidly you will be having one month. So please don't wait for till the last date. And please do your application procedure as soon as possible. And the last date for payment of examination fees is 16th March 2021. So you have to do your uh, payment as soon as possible. And the expected day of preliminary examination. So it is a tentative day that is 2 May 2021. So in previous years, in these months only the examination has been conducted. So it is a tentative one. Please be aware of that. 
and uh, once they give uh, any update regarding this examination we will also update you and please follow our youtube channel last but not the least all the very best and best of luck from our team for your success if you like this video and if you think this video is very useful for you don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and click the bell icon for daily updates thank you